In the last one week, Imo State in southeast Nigeria has had its own share of the violence that resulted when rampaging youth under the guise of the NSARS campaign hijacked the peaceful protest to cause mayhem. Everybody back! This led to the burning down of about nine police stations and five security operatives were killed in the process, public and private property destroyed, and some looted, forcing the state government to impose a curfew in all parts of the state. Captains of industry. Although calm has returned, Governor Hope Uzadima, in a bid to address the issue and ensure peace and order, is convening this stakeholders' meeting. Your Excellencies, he highlights what the government has done so far and what it intends to do. My administration is the first in history to commission seven completed projects in seven months. Seven roads have been started and completed between January and this date. Over 10 more roads are ongoing and nearing completion in different parts of the state. Adapam is back on stream after so many years. All payments in and out of government treasury have been automated. Thereafter, the automated process for prompt payment of salaries and pensions will be guaranteed in no distant time. The governor also seizes the opportunity to explain some of the steps being taken to support youth in the state. Some of the stakeholders commend the governor for his proactiveness and make their contribution. That you have called your people today to tell them what you have done and asking, telling them what you intend to do shows that you are a true leader. I'm proud of you. Let each and every one of us in this meeting, having heard this message from you, let us attend those meet the meetings in our various local government areas so that we can further drive home this message, especially the decision of government to rise up to the occasion to ensure that all of our sons and daughters who are in the streets or who intend to hit the streets will have to face the wrath of the law. The consensus at the end of the meeting is that stakeholders present will take the message to their various local communities to further educate the youth to embrace peace and prevent a recurrence.